Hey there fellow wet shavers, Brian here with the Wet Shave Experience. Thank you for tuning in today. Today on the channel, we are going to be using Katie's Bubbles, LMR, or Les Marche du Roussage. If you uh, want to try to pronounce the French, I got the matching splash with that. I'm going to use the Rockwell 6S. I put the, the four plate in here. Let's see, I think, eh, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but R4. Uh, so you always want the number of that plate that you're on to face you. So the other side is the two. Um, anyways, I'm lathered up and bam, I got an explosion of lather. So this is my first go with Katie's Bubbles. The soap is a little bit harder than some of the other, like the Milk Steaks and the FLS 3.0s, um, the Gentleman's Nod that I used the other day. Uh, but it's not hard. I was able to press it into my bowl just... Um, just a little bit harder, but I mean, I've got so much lather in here and I guarantee you there's still some soap uh, on the bottom of my bowl that didn't get uh, emulsified into a lather. So anyways, let's wet the face and get started. We're gonna do a quicker shave today. I did my Peloton ride, 45 minutes for my Peloton challenge. Uh, so I feel good about that. But then I forgot that my wife has an appointment today and um, Sounds like uh, I got a kid coming. The door's unlocked, buddy. <laughs> we'll make it quick for that reason, too. What's up, dude? Hi, buddy. You wake up? Guy's about to shave. You want to sit down? Um, anyways, I got a ton, a ton of lather. And... Um, so, like I was saying, I'm not sure where I was. Uh, oh yeah, I did my Peloton ride. I'm running a little late this morning. I forgot I gotta take the kids. My wife's got an appointment. Daddy. What's up, buddy? Daddy, did yeah. you buy that? What? Did you buy that? That razor? I've had it, buddy. I just haven't used it in a while. What? I, I've had it, I just haven't used it in a while. Um, anyways, so, I'm running late because I got to take the kids. <laughs> this is crazy. I got to take one kid to my mother-in-law's and the other kid to my mother's, which they fortunately they live pretty close to each other. Daddy. But um, it's Daddy. difficult to keep Daddy. my daughter. What, buddy? Is this yours? Yeah, that's where this razor goes into that case. Um, it's difficult one? for the grandmas to keep Daddy. my daughter on school with both of them there. So one's got to go <laughs> to my mom's and one's got to go to my mother-in-law's. So that my daughter can pay attention to school better. It's difficult enough for my wife, but a little harder for the grandmas. Man, this lather is fantastic. Daddy. Yeah. Daddy. What, buddy? Why is the mirror like that? It's got condensation on it from uh, from a shower, buddy. Can you take a hot shower again? Yeah, I did take a hot shower. That's good thinking, buddy. All right, so I did use plate three yesterday. This is plate four. Uh, honestly, I don't feel a lot of difference between plate three and plate four in terms of any additional blade feel for me. And if you've been watching my channel, you know that I do not like a ton of blade feel, just not my preference. So, um, oh, buddy, don't do that, buddy. Hey, please put those down. Um, so I don't feel much blade feel with this one. So I could go, don't do that, buddy. Don't cut that. Got some little cute little scissors. What are you doing? Anything sharp, anything that he can cut something with, he likes to pick up. Um, but I really don't see a whole lot of difference between the three and the four in terms of face feel when I'm shaving. The soap is very slick. Daddy, I'm watching the belt. What did you dream about, buddy? That's the real star of the show. I think about um, what are you dream about, buddy? Do you remember? Mm-hmm. I'm listening. Go on, go on, tell me more. Um, 
You'll get there. So far, so good with Katie's bubbles. I can't believe how much lather I got. With this soap now, I know I'm going to put less soap. So, you know, I don't talk a lot about cost. I just kind of buy things and use things that I want to try. So, Daddy. Yeah, buddy. I drink the belt. Still getting there. Mm-hmm. Why going off into the fire? Oh boy, that's a little scary, buddy. Scary thing. Mm-hmm. Is everybody okay? Yeah. Okay. Did this, did this one just run out? Okay, good. Um, anyways, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, I use the same amount of soap as I usually use, uh, you know, which is a lot, I would say a large almond size. I don't measure it out. I say this, I'm probably gonna measure it somewhere between a quarter and a third of a teaspoon if I was gonna kind of eyeball it. Um, that's kind of how much I usually as a bowl lather um, scoop out. Instead, I just use this little spoon. Um, it's not very deep and I just kind of get in there and get a little, little nugget. So I got out, maybe kind of hard to tell because the soap's not evenly smooth, but there's my little divot. Sorry, Daddy. Okay. okay, all right. Um, but now I know with this soap, I can probably scoop out a little bit less and get plenty of plenty of lather. But I think that's where I was going. I don't talk a lot about cost. Um, for those of you who've been watching the channel, uh, I've used a number of different things. On Tuesday, I used the palm olive. And so to me, you don't have to spend a lot to get a good shave from the soap to the razor or the cream. I will say that I probably have bought a lot of stuff. Just, I'm still kind of in the discovery phase myself of this whole hobby. And you know, there's things that I've never heard of or haven't tried that I just want to try. And so some of my soap purchases have been driven by that. Um, you know, I'm not gonna lie, some of the label art, uh, the hype I get in, I, 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 I give in, I don't know if I want to say give in, but you know, I see the hype and I, I want to be a part of it. I don't want to miss out. I have plenty of FOMO, fear of missing out. I, 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 I. Careful buddy. So anyways, um, but if you're going to talk about cost, this soap is $14 for four ounces. So that's three fifty an ounce versus what the gentleman's nod was yesterday, which was over $7 an ounce. So you're about, you're half the price for the same amount of soap. And I'd say this soap is as Daddy, good as, or I frankly have... better than um, the gentleman's nod soap yesterday. Uh, the amount Daddy, of lather I got, the type I of lather I got is fantastic. I found a couple more. Well, you did find a lot of nail clippers, buddy. Uh, I mean, I still got, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm wasting that. But, uh, and so before I forget, because we're going to the third pass already. Daddy. Um, yeah. Would you take my toilet off? Oh my off? boy. Okay. All right. Toilet. Yep. Let's, let's do that. I should be Okay. All right. So back down. There we go. Pull up off. <laughs> what? what? You okay? Did you hurt yourself? You okay, buddy? Um, the scent on this. Uh, so, it, Chris, uh, I don't think it fell on the floor. The artisan, Chris, uh, behind Katie's Bubbles, has been making soap, I think, for. There's three. Well, I don't. There's three. One, two, three, buddy. What about this one? What about this one? What about these? Okay, just gotta hurry, buddy. I gotta get you to Grandma's house. Well, here's another one. All right. Okay, there you go. All right. Anyway, it's been making soap for a long time. It's been around the community. Um, and uh, I'm in a Facebook group. He's in it. And then uh, Eric, who's uh, in the group, had recommended Katie's Bubbles. And I haven't been in the group all that long. So I was aware of Katie's Bubbles, but um, just hadn't purchased them yet. So I finally did, enabled by Eric. And I'm glad I did. 
Well, I was, uh, Eric was telling me this was like kind of like Aqua D Geo. Um, and it is a, um, an aromatic aquatic. It's not a lot of scent notes on it, but I was messaging Chris about the scent. He said, well, it's not exactly Aqua D Geo. It's more a cross between the top notes of um, Cool Waters and the bottom notes of Aqua D Geo. So he said, it's like Cool Waters and Aqua D Geo making sweet love on a bed of oak moss. There you go. That was, those were his exact words on the scent. But this is probably one of LMR is probably one of his most popular scents. This Daddy, was, I look think, it. yep. I think this was originally made for the Facebook group, um, the Shave Market, because Le Marche de Rossage is the shaving market in French. What is this? What is this cream stuff? That's like? uh, a bottle of alcohol, buddy. For Not drinking alcohol, clean? rubbing alcohol. Huh? For what do you clean, Daddy? That's the clean alleys and stuff, buddy. Anyways, uh, it's fantastic. Fantastic scent. I really enjoy it. I like Aqua Di Gio. I actually have uh, their that, aftershave bomb. Daddy, can I look inside? You can, just don't spill it. There's not as much. Yeah, it's almost gone. Yeah. So, um, anyways, this soap does for, it for 14 seem, bucks. Daddy, does this thing on yeah, it would a little bit. Um, I bought it directly through Chris's site through Katie's Bubbles. I bought two different sets. I bought this in Spanish Holiday, free shipping if you purchase over a certain amount. So uh, both those sets put me over that amount. So I appreciate that and got the free shipping. Uh, Katie's Bubbles is available at many other online retailers, but I think the largest selection you're going to find is on his site. Um, and I'm going to rinse the face and we're done. I love you. Oh, I love you too, buddy. Thanks for telling me that. Where's your sprayer? Right here. Oh. All right, let's get the splash on. Where's uh, the splash? Right here. This is the splash, the aftershave splash. You want to smell it? Oh, yeah. What is that? Let's see what Isaac thinks. Smell it. What do you think? Here, smell this. Oh, careful. You put it on your face. He's, he's pour, starting to pour it in his hand. Look at all this lather I have left over, though. I feel bad, like, giving it away. I could literally get, like, um, eight more passes. So this is probably why Eric really likes this uh, soap so much, because he's, like, a 25-pass shaver. Uh, <laughs> so hopefully you see that and catch that, Eric. Um, what do you think of this one? Smell Thumbs up? Good? All right, Isaac. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, hey, we can't do that now. That's, okay. Um, so Isaac gave it the thumbs up. So there you go. Let's give it a good hard shake. All right, smells great. Careful, buddy. Into my hands a little bit. And there we go. All right. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Uh, great shave today. Nick, and cut free. So I would call it a uh, pretty, pretty good, darn good shave. Damn good shave. And uh, that's it for today. So thanks for tuning in. By the way, our two winners from last week. So all three prizes from the 200 subscriber giveaway have been claimed. Uh, you clip. Uh, but we will be coming up with a 300 subscriber giveaway fairly soon. Uh, I'm excited to announce that it's on its way. So uh, we'll see you soon on the channel though. Have a good day.